Hey guys, it's Vin again from The Better Gentleman, and today we're going to be installing the OEM Samsung screen protector on my S22 Ultra. Alright, and this is what we get inside of the box. We have our installation tray, we have the little instruction manual, and we have two screen protectors. And the first thing I always do before installing a screen protector is wiping down my working surface, just to make sure we get all the lint and stuff out of here. All right, and now we're gonna grab our phone. And so uh, this is the issue I've been running into with every other screen protector I've had on this. And actually, so this is my uh, third screen protector. I had an Amfilm one first, and then um, I had another one, I forgot, like Super Shield or something for my second one. And then I went back to Amfilm for my third one. And with every single one, I kind of had like this issue where um, my screen protector started shifting either to the left or the right. I'm not exactly sure what is causing that and it's not like I had any lift or anything going around with the cases that I'm using um it's just randomly like I would notice like ever so slightly every single day it was just like shifting a little bit to the left or the right and this one got so bad that it shifted all the way right and now it's like coming off of the screen and it caused me to get a whole bunch of bubbles and not to say that this is uh the reason this is happening but what I've noticed is that all the screen protectors I've been using um, are the TPU ones, the ones that are like kind of shifting away. And what I kind of feel like is that when your screen gets hot, and I do know that this happens um, when it's like really, really hot outside, and it had happened to my, um, I believe my Note 20 once, where it got really hot and it started like kind of like peel away. What I feel like is that on these phones, on the S22 Ultra, is that they do run a little bit hotter than normal. And I feel like maybe that's what's causing, like, the heat is, like, allowing the screen protector to, like, move a little bit. But again, that's a complete speculation. I'm not exactly sure that's what's causing it. Uh, but I do know is that the Samsung ones are using PET screen protectors. And I feel like with the PET screen protectors, it might stick on a little bit better. All right, anyways, uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove our case. Next, we're going to get our insulation tray out. All right, and with the insulation tray, we have a microfiber dust cloth, we have some dust remover stickers, and we have a little squeegee. And as I said, like there was a whole bunch of dust that came along with this. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and wipe it down one more time. Make sure we have a clean working surface here. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our phone and put it onto this jig. And we're gonna remove this uh, little strip here, exposing an adhesive. We're going to line our phone up and put it down. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab our screen protector. And if you do have another screen protector, we're going to go ahead and take that off. I kind of like to wait like towards the end just because, you know, to make sure it's clean underneath. Now we're going to remove part one from our insulation kit. I'm going to flip it over. We're going to line it up. Make sure that it's lined up with the camera hole up top. Now we're going to squeegee to the left and right. And then we're going to go to step two and we're going to peel this back. You're going to peel it back enough so that the blue part starts sticking out. And you're going to slowly squeeze it forward. There we go, nice. I'm going to press down on the sides. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and move the bottom piece up. Uh, see, we got some lint there. We're going to remove that real quick. And at any time during this installation, if you do notice that uh, there is a little bit of dust on your screen or anything, you can go ahead and use these dust remover tabs. Uh, they're just like little stickers. Let me show you real quick. And you're just going to go around your screen to make sure there's nothing there all right okay now back to this now we're just going to squeeze out the bottom piece all right there we go again we're going to work on our sides and don't worry i know we got uh these bubbles on the side here but that's actually part of this last cover that we have I'm just going to pull that number two tab. All right. 
and this is actually going to be our screen protector underneath and we're going to go ahead and pat that down and if you got any bubbles just go ahead and press them out and don't worry if they don't come out right away uh, they should come out in the next day or two but there we go guys there's nothing really much else to it uh, we got our screen protector on uh, one thing i would advise is that if you are using a case uh, just hang on for a little bit, uh, maybe like a few hours. I know a lot of people, like, they recommend not putting a case on for the next 24 hours. And uh, that's going to help, like, prevent the screen protect from peeling up from the case. But anyways, guys, that's it for me today. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys got any questions or comments, just go ahead and leave them down below. And for more tech content, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time.